Hi everybody, today I am going to be doing a very short TJ Maxx haul. This is going to be broken down into two hauls. These are the items that I kept for myself and my daughter recently moved into her very, very first apartment after she um, is done with college. It's her very first one that she's paying for all by herself and everything. So I decided to get a whole bunch of stuff for her, but that will be in another video. So this is just basically three candles and a tablecloth that I had picked up from the home goods store, which is connected to TJ Maxx. So let's get started. The first is going to be the tablecloth. I picked this up. There it is for uh, $4.99. I'll just pick up the camera real quick. It says Happy Valentine's Day on the front and it has little hearts and it is for a round table and I always usually get um, vinyl tablecloths for my table because I switch out my tablecloths so frequently and um, this is just easy. I can just take it when I'm finished and I actually just chuck them. I just throw them away. I don't save them. So I got that for $4.99 and now let's move on to the candles. The first candle that I got is called Cherry Vanilla Swirl, and it is by Village Candle. Now, let me just explain to you guys basically what happened when I went to my TJ Maxx store. Okay, so I went to my TJ Maxx store before Christmas, and they had two long huge aisles in the home goods section filled with all different types of holiday candles like there was like over a hundred like different sizes shapes scents colors they had winter ones they had spring ones they had summer they had fall everything you could think of okay so I was thinking to myself oh probably more summer and spring ones will be there let me go and check it out so I did and they didn't have two aisles of candles. They didn't have one aisle of candles. They had a small half aisle of candles. And I was just like, what the heck shut the front door? So, okay, I found these candles. The first one, like I said, is a village candle. It is a cherry vanilla, as you can see. And there was another one there. It was like a strawberry swirl. And I smelt that one. And the strawberries just smelled so bad. And I was like, oh, no, I can't get that one. And then I saw this one cherry vanilla swirl. And holy cow, it smells just like cherries, like good cherries freshly picked they're warm and it's awesome so I decided to get this one it is or it was uh $9.99 and the wax is bright red and I really love the label it's of fresh ice cream that has been scooped that's melting and it looks like there's cherry sauce on top with uh cherries on top so and it smells amazing. Like the smell on this is really super strong. So I was really, really impressed with that. If any of you guys have or have tried Village Candles, let me know. The only difference between this one and the Yankee, which I will, ugh, hold on a second. I'm going to try to take off the cover here, is there are two wicks. Can you guys see that? Okay, there are two wicks instead of just one. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that works, how it burns or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so the next one is a Yankee Candle. And this is actually a medium jar. It says, smoothing, calming, comfort, bright, clean, classic, relaxing, herbal, aromatic, fragranced candle. It is lilac in color. It was $7.99. And on the bottom, it says that the name of the candle is Relaxing Lavender. Now, I'm going to tell you guys. Oops, I did it again. Sorry, guys. I'm going to tell you guys something. I was, like, kind of shocked at the selection of Yankee candles. 
They had, I would say, probably about 10 different scents. Not more, more, they had more village uh, candles than they did Yankee. But when I went to sniff on cold throw each Yankee candle, I took off the lid. I know you guys are not supposed to smell the wax. You're supposed to smell the lid. I always go for the wax first, then I smell the lid. Every single Yankee candle that I took out at Home Goods, except for this one, that I took the lid off and smelled the wax, and then I also smelled the lid, had absolutely no cold throw at all. And I was like, you know, I need cold throw. I need to know exactly what this thing is going to smell like. And sometimes it doesn't smell the same. Sometimes it smells different. But I thought to myself, wow, I'm not going to pay 9 bucks or $10 for a candle that doesn't have any scent cold throw on it. So I was like, screw this. I'm just going to get this one and we'll see um, how it burns. They had a whole bunch of different ones. I can't even remember the names. But I was like really really upset so I was like screw it I'm not gonna get any but this one and we'll just see what happens so that's my story on the Yankee candle now we are going into my favorite lemon pound cake holy shiznits this thing is good first of all <clears throat> I love lemon like love lemon and this smells so close to what a lemon pound cake would smell like I had to get it okay so it was $9.99 like the others like this one and I love the label it's got beautiful lemon pound cake on the front drizzled with a sugar icing with a lemon in the front slice of lemon and the color of the wax, I know my coloring on the camera isn't that great, but the coloring on the wax is just gorgeous. So I absolutely love that. And yeah, the only difference between the two of these that I can tell is um, they look the same. They look the same consistency, but one has a glass lid and the other one has a black lid. Tell me if you guys know the difference. Let me know. Like I said, I don't know anything about Village Candles whatsoever. So if you guys have information on that, um, please share it with me because I would love to know, first of all, how they burn compared to the Yankee being two wicks instead of one. And how is that scent throw when it's burning? Do they pool? Am I going to need a sweater? Can I use an Illumilid? I don't think so. I think the Illumilids are not going to fit on these candles. I have not tried it yet, but we will see. So that is my haul. <clears throat> Again, stay tuned for uh, my daughter's haul. I'm going to be having that on probably, well, I might even do it before this. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And hope you guys have a good day. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.